Hello guys, in the last lecture we saw the introduction part. In this lecture we are going to deal with the famous scientist Grigor Johann Mendel. He is known as the father of genetics. We will just see a little bit details about him. He was born on 22nd July 1922 to a very poor farmer family. He became a priest and a mathematician as well as a teacher. He studied natural sciences, physics etc. He did a lot of experiments on garden pea and he published it in a local newspaper experiments in plant hybridization. Now he has done so many experiments and then he has done so many work that he will be unnoticed and no one has not given so much attention. So why didn't he become successful at that time when he was alive? So we will be looking after these reasons for him remaining unnoticed. So first reason was he published it locally. If you publish it locally, then obviously जो बाहर के लोग हैं, बाहर के जो इतने बड़े-बड़े साइंटिस्ट हैं, उनका इतना ध्यान नहीं जाएगा, ओके? And then second reason was factors. At that particular time, genes क्या होते हैं? ये ज़्यादातर लोगों को पता ही नहीं था। In fact, genes was not discovered that time. So he named those transmission of characters was done through certain things called factors which was unknown to people. See when I am talking about heart, immediately heart comes to your mind. If I am talking about brain, you have that picture that brain is like this. But when I am talking about something which you haven't seen, which you don't know, it is very difficult for common people to understand those terms. And the third reason itself was this. He was a priest and mathematician, so obviously biologists didn't trust him that much. They didn't give that much attention to this person. Like you know we have this, uh, if I'm an engineer then I know maths better. If I'm an agriculturist, I know better agricultural practices than farmers. It is a common connotation there. So here as well, when he is a priest and he is a mathematician, it becomes very difficult to convince biologists in this matter. So now we'll see the reasons for Mendel being successful after 16 years of his death. The first reason is, the three scientists, Hugo de Vries, Corrins and Shermack, rediscovered Mendel's work and they published it in international newspapers. So obviously in this case, scientists or biologists from all over the world took notice of this. The second reason is, choice of plant. Pea plant usually completes its life cycle in around 3 to 4 months. Hence, in one year, he can do 3 or 4 experiments or three, and he can study 3 or 4 generations. So, the third, third reason was contrasting characters. Take an example like if I tell you shades of purple. Abhi, you know, boys are usually very weak in shades. Girls ko dekhenge to blood red, sub red unko pata rega. So, if I take purple color, light purple, dark purple, Shades may confuse hone ke chances jyada hai. But if I'm saying purple and white, purple would be purple for me, it would be purple for you as well. White be mere le bhi same hoga, aapke le bhi same hoga. So here, these are the contrasting characters in pea plant. Your fourth reason is tabular format. Obviously, he's a mathematician. Agar take an example, suppose you have this population. Population ko agar mein ye state ka itna population hai, ye state ka itna population. If I am writing in it word, it would be very difficult for you to study or read something like that. But if I am writing it in a table format, it would be looking very catchy. You can understand it very quickly. The fifth reason is, he did a lot of experiments. Bohut sare experiments kiye. There are chances ki ek hi experiment mein bohut sare galtiya ho sakti hai. Maybe choti moti galtiya ho sakti hai. But if you are doing lot of experiments and you are getting the same result every time, that means your experiment is right. Sixth reason is specimen size was large. If I am conducting an experiment, suppose in this class you have three or four children aur unke percentage sabke average hai 70, 65, 70 ke range mein. Only based on this three or four people, मैं ये नहीं बोल सकती हूँ कि पूरे इंडिया का इतना ही रेंज होगा सारे बच्चों को इतने ही मार्क्स मिलेंगे। But if I'm taking sampling size very large, yeah, we can take out the approximate results over there. We'll be seeing types of crosses in the next lecture. Thank you.